is up, you guys? And thank you for joining for our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Desk Render. And today I got a very special battle, to be honest, because this is a very, very old one, and it, against an, uh, it is a, up against another guy named Shadow Arty. I think he still pocket tubes. Uh, so this is actually, I think, my first pocket tuber battle, but I didn't pocket tube while I did this team. So I think I made this team in November last year. And uh, I never cared for uploading this video. I saved it. I just saved it because it was against another pocket tuber. Um, other than that, I mean, this is basically the first team I ever made, and um, it worked fairly well. It is a rain dance set or a rain dance team, really. But I tried to avoid uh, revealing that, so I didn't use Politoed. I used Sesame Toad instead. And other than that, they're only like favorite pokes. And this is actually a team I was very carefully constructing when I was starting battling. Because when I did this team, I hadn't pocket battled since Gen 4. And I mean early Gen 4. So it was extremely fun going into this battle. Because like I said there, uh, I only got a few battles off with this team. And it worked. But I never went up against a professional player. And Shadow Art was definitely one of them. And I think he, he still is. I have yet to check him out more actually. So a shout out to Shadow Art if he's still doing the battles. Because... This guy is actually, he's something else, and should definitely be regarded as just that. Um, other than that, I mean, look at his, te his team. He got Hexers, he got Aegislash, Snorlax, um, Galventula, right? Uh, Scalopede, and Charizard. I myself are using pokes that, like I said, I thought was very well constructed. There's Flygon, we got Mega Manetric, uh, Sesmetoad, Steelix, uh, Gudra, and um, Garvor. Um, so other than that, guys, let's actually get to it and enjoy. So in the beginning here, I decided to leave with Flygon because I saw that nothing on his team uh, is going to outspeed my Flygon. Plus, I have the Choice Band instead of Scarf, so had I had something that was faster, I would just leave the Mega Manetric and go for Protect and Mega Evolve and then be able to outspeed. So he's going to evolve to Mega Charizard. I was actually thinking it's going to switch out because I do have Rockstar on this guy and I really was hoping I was bluffing well. I was obviously not, or he's just playing it really risky. And uh, of course I'm able to... Or, or, our forces switch out there, and I go into my Truffle. Truffle is a very, very specially defensive, heavy um, uh, Gudra with Rain Dance, Rest, and Fun Rise Beam. So, by definition, you can't do too much, but it can also deal with a short sword very, very well. So now that he's able to, he has most recharge at first, of course, because he missed the first blast burn. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to be able to outspeed and go for Rock Slide, which gonna finish this guy off nicely. So that is the short sword of the way. So hey. Uh, and I'm using Life Orb because I need that extra boost and I'm going to be able to outspeed anything anyway. And I know an Earthquake can finish this guy off. But I did fair the Focus Sash, but um, he doesn't have it. So, um, gave me. <laughs> no, but really, that was very unfortunate because I was actually in the mood of sacking this guy off. So, the Skull people go for Protect here, which is going to make it able to outspeed me. And the next turn here was actually set up a Sword Stance instead of attacking me. So, I definitely know this is, of course, a bad and Pass set. And uh, to be honest, I was really scared here because um, I really thought there was really nothing for me to be able to take this guy on if it gets fully uh, fully set up, really. Just gonna go for a Batman Pass here and uh, just have to deal with that going into Hexers. And, um, well, I do go for the Earthquake, but it is actually able to take that fairly well here. And just gonna go for Dragon Claw, which of course will finish me off. And uh, the only thing I really feel can stop this guy is Steelix, because um, Earthquake is unstabbed if he got it, which it do, and um, I don't care. I just don't. I just don't care. No, but really, this is the first Steelix I made for this gen, and it has been working wonders, and has been working wonders against AG Slashes. Why? Because AG Slash can't do anything against this Steelix. It is a Resto Chesto with Stealth Rocks. Earthquake and Roar, and uh, yeah, way back in this gen, he was able to deal with Talon Flames and Aegislash is gonna set up on it because they couldn't. I roared them out. I just don't care. So of course I don't have the Stealth Rocks just yet, and I'm going to see that he's gonna go for Protect. So I'm just went for the Stealth Rocks really. And uh, after this, I did predict him to maybe go for Sword Stance in worst case scenario, um, just go for an Attack really, go for an Earthquake. Uh, but you switch out and I actually went for a roar because Well, why, why the hell not, right? 
So Snorlax is coming in and uh, I can't do too much against the Snorlax, but I'm also very sure that unless it is a curse set, it can't really do anything against me either. So nice prediction of him just going for that body slam. Doesn't get to paralyzation, but still a very very nice move to be honest. And well, here I just took the opportunity to think he's gonna attack me now, he's not gonna set up. So I actually went for an earthquake here. And you guys will see how potent the steel exists against an AD slash. There is no means of stopping this guy, and it really came to show here. Uh, Sacred Sword being unstabbed, it's not even do 50% here, and that is very nice. So, his last poke is the Snorlax, and um, basically, and to be very honest here, I was really going to try to challenge him in this type of game, that is, the game of the fatties. <laughs> and try to pretty much win him here, because I knew I could soak him out better than he could soak me out. So he's gonna go yet for another body slam, doesn't get the paralyzation, does get the paralyzation, of course, I'm lying. Uh, but really, um, I was definitely able to you know, win this Stall Wars because he has no super effective damage, but of course he got the rest set. And even though I have, what is that, I think I got all my folks intact, he's still, you know, persisting on go for rest. So I was actually forced to go to my Mirage and um, just go for that, the choice of bad and superpower. And well, it doesn't take him out, but I, you know, just just accept your defeats uh, really but yeah of course this will definitely be game go for sleep I'll get rest off which is going to be unfortunate for him but really body slam would not have been able to deal with me and of course the superpower here will destroy this fat poke I actually miss Snorlax a little bit because we never see Snorlax online anymore and it is a very 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 good poke so um, looking back this battle really just was very fun to see him again, it's a very potent poke like I said there, and I like it. And also, shout out to Shadow RT for this battle, it was a very very good one, and I liked it a lot. Yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle, I have a few more older battles from my previous, like before I was poketubing, so if you like this battle, I'll definitely, you know, take the time to um, see if I can actually narrate them and post them. They're actually very very fast paced, and uh, this was way back before even OU was established, so as a result, I really believe these games became much more hectic and powerful. So we got a few Mega Lucario games and stuff like that, and uh, this team really, really worked. And it really came to show that everybody started off with, you know, the toughest pose and just try to work around it. I know the reason I stopped using Steelix was because... I really felt I used it as, a, as an excuse to wall out folks, and this is definitely why. So um, it could, it came a time where Steelix were somewhat overdue, and that was when I started to go into lesser tier, and um, it didn't do as much work. Steelix is one of those incredible folks that you deal with, like I said, the talent flames, you deal with the Aegis Last, you can even go up against uh, physical uh, Lucarios. So when you know these folks was not on part of the tier anymore. Um, it became somewhat somewhat lacking. And I, I guess that is why I stopped using Steelix in the first place. And of course I wanted to challenge myself in using other folks. But basically it was because there was no direct counter in the list of tier. So we yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Um, it was of course not a 6 it was actually a 5 0 uh, I did lose my assessment toad after all, but really it was Steelix who put down the work, it was Steelix who, you know, just finished this battle really nicely, and uh, yeah, I liked it. I was really glad to see that I had older battles left there, and uh, like I said, I'll do consider uploading them if you guys want to see them. Uh, other than that, guys, you know, thank you as always for watching, you know I love the support as always, and remember, the sky is the limits. Have a good day, alright? Mm -hmm.